In today's Newsmaker, we're digging deeper into that rare form of cancer. Dr. Wiley Zhu, Chief of Neurosurgery at Sentara, joins us now to talk about glioblastoma. First of all, let's talk about the symptoms. A couple of weeks ago, John McCain appeared confused mm -hmm. during a Senate hearing. Correct. I think that's probably part of the symptoms that the mass of tumor has created, which possibly has led to the diagnosis of his tumor. This is a very difficult cancer. We know that John McCain has a history of melanoma, but in this case, this is a tumor that originates in the brain. Exactly. So uh, Senator McCain has glioblastoma. That's a, a aggressive brain cancer that originates from the brain cell called glial cell. And uh, these type of tumors are very aggressive and currently we have no cure. Several notable people have died from glioblastoma. Ted Kennedy had glioblastoma. Mm -hmm. So did Bo Biden. What are the treatment options? Currently the standard treatment is surgery followed by chemotherapy and radiation. And there's a new kind of treatment called treat tumor treatment field which is an electrical uh, field that stimulates the brain and destroy the tumor cells. So now the first line treatment are the combined surgery, radiation, uh, chemo, and so-called TTF, tumor treatment field. What is the prognosis for someone this age diagnosed with glioblastoma? Traditionally, the treatment with surgery, chemo and radiation is about, the medium survival is about 16 months or a little over a year. And with the TTF or the tumor treatment field, it is about 20 months or less than two years. Dr. Zhu, thank you so much. We wish John McCain well.